Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you're new here, please consider subscribing and also follow me on Instagram. If you're not new here, then you know, welcome back. Today, I have a very short video for you guys on the subject of dodging and burning. So what is dodging and burning? Let's start with dodging. Dodging simply increases the exposure of areas of the image that you wish to be lighter. So something that's dark, you will make bright. On the other side, we have burning, which actually lowers the exposure of the areas of the image that we would like to be darker. So something that's bright, you're making it a little darker. And that's basically what dodging and burning is. When it comes to retouching, this technique allows you to do that as well as retain a lot of the texture that you would otherwise lose if you use a technique like frequency separation. And that's not to say that frequency separation isn't a good way of retouching your images, but between the two, dodging and burning seems to be the preferred choice, as it allows you, like I said before, to retain a lot of the textures that sometimes you do end up losing with frequency separation. Obviously, saying it and explaining it, it's a lot easier than actually sitting down for hours and hours of retouching to make your images look beautiful. But it's very simple. So let me show you how it works. Here we have an image, uh, it's not retouched, it's not, uh, it's just out of the camera. Um, and as you can see, you have uh, a lot of irregularities in the skin, not imperfections, just patches of skin that have a different tonality, uh, a different level of exposure, if you will. So we have dodging and burning to help us uh, fix all of that. Now, I'm not going to go through the process of creating the different layers that you are going to need for dodging and burning that you could find in a different video. It's not hard at all. Um, you could, if you wanted to, download an action that allows you to basically click one button and you will have all of the layers that you need to start dodging and burning. So, you know, even the process of getting to dodging and burning is very, very, very simple. In my case, I'm using a extension from Research Academy that makes it just that much easier and organized and it's very well put together. So I do recommend uh, that, you know, if you want to invest on your skills as a researcher, photographer, whatever, download you know an extension um like i said i prefer this one but uh, they all kind of do the same thing when it comes to dodging and burning they'll create every layer that you need to get you started okay so once you go through the whole process of actually setting everything up um you'll notice that you you're gonna have a few layers and they're basically uh curves adjustment layers with mask on them and you're gonna have one for dodging which like we said before makes uh things brighter and then you're gonna have one for burning that makes things a little darker. And that's basically it. Now, all you have to do is identify the areas of the skin on your subject that uh, needs a little fixing. So what I like to do for that, I grab a, um, a black and white uh, adjustment layer. I bring down the reds a little bit because like we all know, reds are primarily found in skin, in skin tones. So I bring it down and as you can see, the imperfections, <laughs> I don't want to say imperfections, but the irregularities in her skin show a little better when you do this. And that helps you with uh, your dodging and burning because now you know exactly where you gotta go. One thing that I do want to say is be careful of not changing the structure of the face on a person. That is key to having a well retouch photo and i'm guilty of that we all are to some extent i'm not an expert retoucher i have never been i don't consider myself one so sometimes i do make little mistakes like that so just keep that in mind you want to be very careful not to over um, adjust any exposure or you know when you're increasing or decreasing the exposure on the patches of skin that you're gonna fix so like i said first we identify exactly where we have to retouch as you can see, uh, as you can see on this image, uh, I already know exactly. And I'm going to highlight those areas, not because I need it, but so that you guys could actually see it on the video. Now we're going to zoom in 200%. It's recommended. Sometimes I go in a little more and also I do the opposite. I sometimes zoom it out all the way. Uh, and I'll show you why I do that. When you zoom out to this, uh, 
you know, so this size, you could actually see irregularities on the face that you couldn't see when you're always zoomed in. So the first thing that I like to do is that. Well, actually, the first thing that I like to do is clean up the image, you know, do the, the basic retouching with the healing brush tool or the clone stamp tool, all of that. Uh, I get rid of any blemish or stray hair or stuff like that. Uh, I think that's like, you know, basic retouching stuff. So uh, I forgot to mention that at the beginning, but yeah, I do that first. Then I do the dodging and burning. So I zoom out, I look at the image, I see how the exposure changes from one side of the face to the other. I fix that in what I call, or well, not I, but I think it's known as global uh, dodging and burning, which means that you're going to you're going to work on an area of the face that's way bigger. It's a more general um, dodging and burning. Once you do that, once you're happy with the result and I'm going to go through, you know, before and after so you can see what I mean. You know, I zoomed out, I looked at the image, I saw that there was a uh, very hard transition from one part of the skin to the other. I fixed that and now it looks better. But when I zoom in, I can still see a lot of the irregularities that need a little fixing. So what I'm going to do now is do local uh, dodging and burning, which means that you're going to work on very precise uh, areas of the face just to fix all the irregularities when it comes to um, the exposure of the skin. Now, I'm not going to show the entire process because it's basically stroking these areas with uh, your brush, which has to be at 2% uh, flow. 100% opacity and it has to be a soft brush so that you don't go overboard and um, ruin your picture. So here you have this side of the face, uh, this uh, area. Um, so what I think it's a, uh, a good level of retouching. I think it's it looks good. As you can see, you have all the texture because you are not changing pixels from the face, right? The only thing that you're doing when you do when you do dodging and burning is increase or decrease the exposure, making uh, every pixel not the same, but you're you're kind of fixing this transition from a dark side of the face to a lighter side of the face. It's just, and I think that's key. I, I think that's the uh, the whole point of this, right? Is to make transitions smoother, so that it looks natural, it looks clean, it, it looks perfect, but natural. And that's what we all want, right? Natural looking skin on our images. So again, let's go over the whole thing. Dodging and burning. Dodging makes things brighter. Burning makes things darker, right? And that's, that's what it is. Now you take your time. That's very important as well. Take your time. When you're starting to do dodging and burning, you, you are going to feel as if you're not doing nothing the image is going to look bad or well not bad but it's not going to look you know how you want it to look and that's okay because it takes time that's why a lot of a lot of the resources that i know you know are charging above 30 dollars per image you know i i have met a few researchers who charge 90. i know one who charges 120 per image and that's because this is something that takes a lot of time and you have to be patient. You have to take your time when you're doing this, if you want it to be good, right? Another thing that I like to do besides taking my time is taking breaks. You have to get away from your computer because it'll get to a point where you look at the image and you can't, I mean, you're just not going to be able to do or see anything clearly. You got to get away and come back. And when you do that, you will actually see the progress and you will actually find uh, what else you need to do. Another trick that I that I'm going to share with you that not a lot of retoucher do. I mean, I've seen a lot of retouching tutorials, a lot of them. And this is something that not a lot of retouchers do or maybe they don't they don't show it on the video. But I like to rotate the image upside down. Because we are used to looking at faces, obviously, <laughs> uh, the right way, the right orientation. But when you rotate the entire image upside down, you're looking at things from a new perspective, upside down. <laughs> and actually, and it works. Let me show you. If I rotate this image, 
now I'm seeing spots that I wasn't really seeing before. And you could tell that these need a little bit of fixing. So I'm going to do that real quick here. And, you know, it helps. It helps. Any little thing helps. So uh, don't take that for granted. Rotating your image definitely helps. So again, take your time. Take breaks in between and rotate the image. That's simple. And dodging and burning is not hard. I, I don't want to make it sound like it's hard. I hope I didn't. Um, like I said, I, I, I've seen a lot of tutorials and they do make it sound a little harder than it is. They get into the technicality of dodging and burning and this and that. And basically, you know, again, the only thing that you're looking for is uh, a picture that looks natural, the skin. Um, the transition from one dark side to the lighter side to be as smooth as possible. And that's basically it. And it works on any face. Now, I get a question asked sometimes. Does burning, uh, dodging and burning work on skin that's uh, maybe, uh, you know, rough? Because not everybody has perfect skin. Some of us have a little rougher skin, you know, a lot of blemishes, a lot of scars or uh, birthmarks or stuff like that. And yes, burn, dodging and burning, sorry, works on any type of face. However, sometimes you will need to go and maybe do frequency separation because sometimes you'll get skin that's a little too rough. And it's better to deal with that by separating the texture from the the color and the tonality of the skin. So that's that's how I look at it. This this is how I look at it. I do frequency separation only to fix really hard, uh, harsh skin. The only way I'll mix it too. If I don't have to, I won't. But frequency separation, like any other tool has its uses so don't be afraid to mix both techniques which i have done many many times and it works just fine so there you have it this is how i work on all my images um it's nothing special i don't think it is and it's not hard anybody could do this the only the only obstacle that a lot of people have a hard time with is the time that it takes to get it to look as good as possible all right there you go thank you guys for you know staying till the end if you did again follow me on instagram i try to post regularly and i do share a lot of my you know uh diagrams lighting diagrams lighting setups uh anything else that i can share with my followers i do because i love sharing and i love uh, getting people to where they want to get uh, or as far as uh, as i can um, with my own photography so take care, be safe, and always keep improving your skills, whatever, whatever your skills might be. <laughs> All right, guys, I'm out. Thank you so, so much.